Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back to part 7 in creating a hash table project in C++. So the last tutorial we just finished uh, creating the add item function. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a helper function that's going to count the number of items that is in a list stored in a single bucket or index of the hash table. So this function, I'm going to uh, put the prototype here in the public section of the hash class and it's going to return an integer value and I'm just going to call this one number of items in index and so it's going to count the number of items in an index or a number of items in a bucket of our hash table and uh, this uh, actually needs to take in an argument it needs to take in the index value so this is going to look at whatever index we pass in here it's going to look at that index or that bucket and count the number of items that is in uh, that location. So let's go ahead and define this number of items and in index function inside of our hash.cpp file. So in our hash.cpp file here, um, this has a return type of an integer. And so we're going to do int and then define it from the hash class. And there it is right there and then open and close curly brace and we'll define it inside of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an integer variable called count and I'm going to set that initially equal to the value 0. So we've got that part done now, that's simple enough. And uh, then we're going to look at that first item that is in this index right here. We want to, we're counting the number of items in uh, a certain index in our hash table and so we want to look at the very first item to begin with and we're going to put this uh, little case in an if statement and we're gonna say if uh, hash table um, whatever index we're looking at here if the name in that index has the value of empty that means we haven't put anything in uh, this index yet or this bucket yet and the reason why we haven't is because that's empty is just a, a temporary holding value that I've I've put in our constructor so unless a person had the name empty um, this is just going to be a default value right here if they did have the name empty I don't know you'd have to do some different logic for that but I'm not going to worry about that case in my program so anyway if that first index if the name that if the name string in that index has the value empty then that means that's just what uh, default value the constructor gave it. And so if that's the case, then um, we're just going to return this uh, count variable that we created. We're going to say, okay, well that index is empty. It doesn't have anything. So it's going to return the value zero if it finds that that's the case. So if that's not the case, if that first uh, item in that index holds some other value in the name, that means that we've added something to that index or to that bucket and so we're going to take care of that in this else statement here. So for that case we're going to increment count so if it enters here count is now one and uh, so now we can go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and do an item pointer and we'll just call that PTR for pointer and we're going to make that point to the beginning of uh, or that the first item that's in that uh, index or in that bucket that we're looking at here so we're gonna make that pointer point to the beginning of the list that's in that bucket and we're gonna say as long as that pointer uh, as long as the next element in that pointer is not pointing to null so as long as the next pointer in the item that the PTR pointer is pointing to, as long as that is not empty, is not pointing to nothing, then it's pointing to something and we need to kind of move the pointer to the next item in the list and we're going to keep doing that until we get to the very end. And uh, in the meantime, as long as there's some other item attached, we're going to increment the count. So we're counting that next item and then we're going to move that pointer down the list by saying PTR equals PTR next. So now what's happening here is uh, 
we start to, whenever we call this function right here, we pass in whatever index we want to look at. And initially, we set our count equal to zero. And uh, if the first item inside of our hash table at that index, if uh, that first one has a name that has the value empty, that means it was set by our constructor. And so there's nothing really in there that we want to look at. And so we say that uh, the count is zero. We're just going to return that count that was initially set to zero. Otherwise, if uh, that name is not equal to empty, then we're going to count that first item. And then uh, we're going to make this new pointer point to the beginning of the list that's stored in that uh, hash table index. And then as long as the next item is not null, then we count the next item and then move our pointer to that next item and we continue that process until we've got to the very end and at that point we will have all of the uh, uh, items accounted for in that list and uh, the number of items will be stored in the count variable. So anyway, uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.